Welcome guys, Antonio Wells, Android Tap, Android App Reviews. Wanted to do a quick walkthrough of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean just released at Google I.O. Now we're on the Galaxy Nexus, I'm sorry, a Nexus 7 Android tablet, and we wanted to walk through some of the major feature enhancements that we did see at the presentation. And one of them is, it's called um, Project butter and what it is is to make android move faster and to be as smooth as butter and we'll get more into that probably in the write-up however i did wanted to show off some of the widget management and some of the things now are a little bit more convenient whereas before let's say i wanted to drop this widget onto the home screen traditionally i would have to go in and manually move all that stuff around even though there's not much room However, with the new enhancements, they just jump around, which is really cool and polished with the platform. And if you can see how they're bouncing around, you can just see how is they're really putting more thought into the finesse into the platform. So moving along, we're going to show you what I consider is Google's answer to Siri. And not head to head, but there's some respect as far as uh, some of the things that you can do. You can get answers from the search using your voice so who is the current president bad example let's do something a little bit better what's the weather in san francisco what's the weather in san francisco it's 67 degrees and partly cloudy in san francisco here's the forecast for the next few days What's the weather in Chicago? It's 100 degrees and cloudy in Chicago. Here's the forecast for the next few days. Wow, it's really hot and steamy back home. Uh, let's do something else. Who's the head coach of the Chicago Bears? Lovey Smith is head coach of Chicago Bears. And simple answers like that, you can get simple requests back. Uh, with a really good sounding voice. It's not uh, robotic at all. And if you tap read more, you can get more information in this case at the source at Wikipedia. So let's do one more thing. When is the Cubs' next game? The Cubs are playing the Astros tomorrow at 11.20 a.m. So it's pretty cool how you can uh, do a couple things. Now, this feature is called Google Now, and it, kind of an expansion onto Google search and the way you get to it if you saw me do it before you start at the bottom of the screen where no buttons are and you just slide up and you'll see that invoke separately you can also go to the home screen and just tap the search and invoke the same thing and you'll see uh, this presentation that Google has you can search you can do it by voice or type it it keeps a track of your search history in order to learn things about you as well as look at your calendar and take in consideration your location and this is how this engine starts to learn about you and these cards are meant to if you have the information there you can swipe it to get room to more and then you can see here it's taking information from my calendar as well as it'll present information uh, or recommendations about restaurants or stores in the vicinity of myself. It goes a little bit further. You can do transportation. You can uh, look up flight information as well as get updates on that. Uh, so I think this is a pretty neat feature. I want to see it grow in the future. Moving along, uh, we don't have much here, but the Android notification system has been expanded upon. So now with the email, you can see several lines just at a glance without even going into the email. In the presentation, we saw an app like Pulse News Reader, which will allow you to do a two-finger two gesture and expand the news. Um, if a call came through, I can answer it or hang it up from the notification window without even going all the way to, uh, to that application. Of course, if that's done on the phone, this tablet won't be able to do it. And last but not least, I wanted to show off the magazine, I'm sorry, the uh, Android Bean feature, which is NFC, where you can transfer data from one di device to another. So what I've noticed is you have to have both devices on, and they both have to have NFC enabled. And what I'm going to do is send a web page from this tablet to this phone. The NFC, I've noticed, is kind of in this area. 
And so what's going on in this screen is, tap it. Let's try that again. So you can send web pages, YouTube addresses, uh, maps, and much more. And the last feature that we wanted to show was an enhancement to the Google Play Store. And what you'll notice, traditionally you had apps, music, TV and movies, and books, but now you can find premium magazine titles that you can download uh, onto the tablet. And of course, it's a perfect seven inch size, so it'll be great for reading on this device so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot more juicy content that we're going to be bringing to you live from google io don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this hit the thumbs up button and hit us up on twitter facebook and google plus